Hi, my name is Julia, and today I'm going to show you how to determine the slope of a scatter plot. So let's put a scatter plot up. And I'm going to start off by telling you that you can't technically find the slope of a scatter plot. What you can do is you can find the slope of the line of best fit in a scatter plot. Let's start with the scatter plot. Let's see. Let's just throw one up here. I think that's pretty pretty good there. It's a good scatter plot. Um, now to draw a line of best fit. You just want to draw a line that best represents the data. And you want roughly the same amount of data points on each side of the line. So I'm going to say a line like this seems to work best. We have, see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight, nine, perfect. Nine data points on each side. That hit the mark. So we have this line now. That's the line of best fit. And you can find the slope of this line. And the slope of a line is found by determining the change in y over change in x. So you can pick two points. Let's get some tick marks on here. And let's say we got this point, and then all right. I don't have graph paper, so it's a little rough. But let's say this point here is three, four, and then this point is one, one. Um, yeah, that's pretty rough. That those wouldn't quite work out exactly. But you would find the difference in y. So you do 4 minus 1 over 3 minus 1. This is your difference in your x values. And you would get 3 halves is the slope of this line of best fit. And if you're doing it on graph paper, it's going to come out a little bit Clear, your numbers are going to work out a little bit nicer with these, with the scales along here. But um, just to review, you find the line of best fit. You want about an equal number of data points on each side of the line of best fit. And you get the slope of that line of best fit, which is change in y over change in x. There you go. Thanks for watching.